Now I'm going to demonstrate how we stack up against the leading gas competitor. So here I've got a couple of uh, boxes that are weighted with bricks, and we'll start with this gas unit. With this saw, we are able to outperform in speed of cut the leading gas top handle chainsaw on the market today. A 35cc gas top handle chainsaw. And we're going to be cutting through this hardwood ash log. So let's see how we stack up. Do it now. This is a two-inch dowel. It's not rated for this, but we're gonna see what it'll do. So let's let's do it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good morning, you guys. We so are in. at Milwaukee, and we are going to be going in and checking out all the new tools, gear, and equipment. All right, guys, we're at their new headquarters and we're going to check out the new OPE. How many new products are we going to be looking at today? Uh, depending on how you keep up with this, four to six. You know, there's a couple that have been launched recently. Yeah. Okay. So you'll see another four. They never, and, and never seen before. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's why we're here. We want to see what's never been shown before. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I'm Stan, by the way. Hey, Stan, I'm Don. Nice to meet you, Don. provides class leading power. This power head will operate all eight of our attachments on the system. And that makes it a very versatile tool because you can perform a wide range of tasks. And it also lowers the cost of ownership because users can add attachments when they need yes, them. Yes, the key entry point is the M18 Fuel Quick Lock Street Trimmer. It has the power to clear thick brush and has perfect balance. This reduces user fatigue and provides absolute control during operation. I'm going to demonstrate the power of this tool by cutting this broom though. head. And this broom head really simulates a thick brush application. All right, so we got a broom down there. Outside of the show, I have gone through and independently tested the new brush cutter attachment, the new paddle wheel, and the new bristle broom. So if that's something that you want to see an unboxing, an opening, assembly, and a complete thorough test of just those attachments, let me know in the comments down below. But here's just a little snippet of what I put it up against. That big dog is just crying. Be cut. It's like, knock me down. I will. And without doing anything, let's just see how big that was. 
Boom. Now this is a two inch dowel. It's not rated for this, but we're gonna see what it'll do. So let's let's do it. Three, two, one, let's go. has a 23 inch clearing capacity yeah it's perfect for not only moving standing water but rocks and other debris from both hard and soft surfaces without damaging the turf so if you have a planting bed where rain maybe washes all the material out or you just put material into it this will sweep it all right back in hey guys I want to introduce you to Jason Jason hey will you will you tell these guys the name of your channel yeah thank you What's the name of your channel? Oh, my channel is Lawn Care Life on YouTube. I pretty much that's all I do is YouTube videos. Will you do me a favor? Yeah. Will you run that paddle wheel for us? Because I didn't get a chance to see that run. The paddle, uh, the paddle wheel. I call that the paddle wheel. That's got the rubber flaps on it. And then give me your two cents on it when you're done. First off, lift it up and down a few times, Jason. Yeah. It's a little heavy. It's heavy. I guess that it needs to be heavy. Though. It's a heavy dog. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, you got to push forward as it goes backwards. So it's pushing everything in front of you. Okay. I'm barely big enough to unload this thing. <laughs> it's, it's got a little beef to it, doesn't it? Uh huh. Yeah, do one more. Okay, now will you do me a favor and test this one out? So what what would this what is that used for and what's this used? Do you, what would you say the difference? What is so what's the practical application yeah. and guys this is Ryan, Ryan I'm Stan. Hey, very good to meet you, Stan. Nice to meet you. And I kinda missed it. You were walking through the practical applications of the paddle wheel versus the bristle wheel and where you would actually use it. Will you tell me that one more time? So this is good for not only moving standing water but also it does not hurt the turf if you remove material from the turf. So kind of an example I, I cited is if you're putting wood chips in a bed or somebody that has a gravel driveway in the north where the gravel gets all kicked over during snow plowing season, that'll sweep it all back up without damaging the turf. This is really dedicated for hard surfaces. That's dedicated for both hard and soft surfaces. Okay. All right. So we could sweep a lot of this material onto the grass and then you can kind of see how well it actually cleans up the grass. All right, well, let's see Jason run that one now. It is, isn't it? Yep. Keep going right in the grass. Definitely easier to handle that one. Field. I'm a product manager here at Milwaukee Tool. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about our expanding blower category. We, rec or we recently launched our new M18 Fuel dual battery blower, which is going to be a supplementary solution to our existing M18 Fuel blower. We've seen tremendous success with our M18 Fuel blower over the years, as it's a really great lightweight supplemental solution for the professional landscape maintenance user as well as our massive installed M18 user base using this for landscape maintenance applications but also for cleanup on the job site. The M18 Fuel dual battery blower has the same advantage of being on the M18 system but delivers 60% more power, making this a primary solution for the landscape maintenance professional. The dual battery blower delivers the highest constant power of the entire handheld blower competitive market by delivering a power output higher than all gas handheld units and maintaining that power throughout the entire charge of the battery. 
Battery powered competitors tend to take the approach of shooting for higher CFN and mile per hour box claims, where we may focus on maintaining that power throughout the entire charge of the pack. Having consistent power is critical for professional users because whether it's the first property of the day or fifth property of the day, you need that same power output as the application doesn't change. We're able to deliver a consistent 600 CFM at 145 miles an hour. And this allows us to actually provide more work done per charge than the leading battery powered competitors as we deliver that constant power and longer run time. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate how we stack up against the leading gas competitor. So here I've got a couple of bo uh, boxes that are weighted with bricks, and we'll start with this gas unit. So not only am I gonna have the pool start it, uh, but you'll, you'll see how they perform as well. All right, let's see how it does. All right, I had to warm up a little bit. We'll give it another shot. to the dual battery blower. So nice. you can see we're easily able to outperform that gas unit without any of the gas headaches. This dual battery blower is just scratching the surface for what we're going to be looking to deliver within our blower category. We will continue to focus on delivering battery powered solutions that rival gas performance and meet the true needs of the landscape maintenance professional. All right, thank you everybody. I'm gonna pass it over to Jake, and he's gonna to talk to you about chainsaws. <laughs> what kind of crappy fuel do you got in that thing? <laughs> uh, that's 50 to one, it's the premium stuff. So, okay, yeah, okay. feel free to get hands-on with it um, during the hands-on and see for yourself. I'm not playing any games. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey Vinny, how you doing, man? Good to see you, dude, good to see you. Okay, Tim. Will you run these for me? Yeah. Both of them? And Tim, can you tell us what channel you're from, by the way? Shop Tool Reviews. Okay. And Tim specializes in outdoor power equipment reviews. Am, am I right? Uh, sometimes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So basically, tools as well as outdoor power equipment. Okay, so no Milwaukee guys. We've got two bricks and two bricks. The choke's not on. The choke is not on. Correct. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, yeah, let's do both of them at the same time. Okay, Three, two, one, go. Okay. Shall we win? Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's do her again. Yep. That does not sound like it's idling all the way up, though. It doesn't feel like it's idling all the way up. The choke is or off. running all the way up. I mean. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's. The choke is off. Huh. Is that blower running right in your opinion? Yes or no? And if you happen to have a guess as to what brand it is, also put that down there. We're gonna change the way the professional arborist does their job through a commitment to understanding their need from the grassroots level out in the field. And through a commitment to relentlessly driving breakthrough innovation year after year to make their job safer and more productive. And we have product managers who have been out in the field hundreds of hours every single year. We spend time with arborists on their job sites, at their shops, understanding what's the routine to start their day. What are their efficiencies and inefficiencies throughout their day? And finally, what are those pain points that keep them up at night? And through this research, we've found that the professional arborist today is forced to compromise. They're forced to compromise between selecting gas chainsaws or the battery solutions available today. And the lion's share of those users go with gas, and rightfully so, because the gas engine today is the only thing that has the performance to keep up with the demands of the arborist. Now they make this decision with the trade-offs of these gas headaches. And for the professional arborist, 
This feeds hundreds of pole starts every single day while you're balancing up on a tree branch or in the confined space of a bucket, introducing fatigue to their shoulder that they need to be able to maneuver their saw or climb around the canopy of a tree. So because of these trade-offs, the user is forced to compromise with gas. And the vision for our chainsaw category is to deliver the performance required by the pro without compromises. Anyone who knows the Arborist knows the top handle chainsaw is the weapon of choice when executing aerial applications. With this saw, we are able to outperform in speed of cut the leading gas top handle chainsaw on the market today. We're able to generate twice the torque of that leading gas competitor. Most popular gas competitor on the market today, a 35cc gas top handle chainsaw. And we're gonna be cutting through this hardwood ash log. So let's see how we stack up. Hey Stanley, you wanna check to see if the chain sharp? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm ready to go. Waiting for Tony here. As you guys can see, not only are we faster than gas, we're doing it with way more power without these headaches. Can we get a non-Milwaukee guy to run that gas-powered saw? Sure. Hey, step up, Stanley. Well, I can't oh, film and do it. I'd like to see you do it. All you right. got that kit? Right. Yeah, you, you, you want me to video with your phone thing? He's gonna run uh, the gas saw. Three, two, one, go! chainsaw <laughs> we'll dissect it later no smoking mirrors all right guys so now we're gonna come back over here and talk about our got next breakthrough gotta keep solution. yeah for sure always have our eyes to the and ears to the ground and we heard hey this is a fantastic solution but man no would be cooler if we had an m18 solution putting us on our largest installed user base maybe even leveraging the extra power you can get out of the m18 platform we also heard, hey, this six inch bar is an excellent for pruning cutting systems. But know what would be pretty cool? If we upped it two inches, maybe do an eight inch cutting system. Well, in classy, classic Milwaukee fashion, you know, we listen to our users. So introducing the M18 fuel hatchet, eight inch pruning saw. This saw still delivers upon the tight access and control that you've all come to know and love from the hatchet style pruning saw, but it delivers a demonstrable step up in performance. You're delivering peak power levels that have not been seen before from a pruning saw. And also you're delivering because of that power, a faster speed of cut than the go-to pruning solutions today. So what we're gonna be doing is demoing the M18 fuel hatchet against the go-to solution for the professional arborist when going up into a tree for any pruning application. This is a 25cc top handle chainsaw. Notice the power right, Vinny. put into this, right? Three. Oh, sorry, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got all of that. Hey, three, two, one. I'm just going to keep running it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any. I'm just gonna keep running, just do your countdown. Okay, all right. <laughs>
I'm glad we got that over. So as you can see, guys, we're delivering upon the hatchet access and control with a demonstrable step up in power, as well as faster than the pruning solutions that professional arborists are leveraging today. Okay, so let's take a look at the chips here real quick. So you guys can take a seat. So this is the Milwaukee. You guys decide. And this is the blacked out competitor. Chip size is about right. equal. I can't say anything different. Let's look at the fuel here real quick. It's still the true fuel, 50 to one. So they're just using the same thing you guys would buy off the shelf. All right, you guys, we're just gonna do a side by each test. We're gonna test out the tops, the top handle. And I think this is the 12 inch top handle. Now they have two top handles. They've got a 12 inch and a 14 inch. Let's just check out which one we've got here. So we're gonna be, this is the four, hey, Jake, this is the 14 inch, right? Yep, so the top handle's available in 14 inch and 12 inch. 12 inch, now this is a specialist chainsaw and Blake Albertson from b and is gonna hold it. And I'm just gonna start yeah. bolting them up. Okay, three, two, one. Oh. I want to try to torque it out a little bit right now, you guys. I just want to really put too much pressure on it, see what it takes to stall it out. Because it seemed like it had a lot of power. Ah, she goes pretty good. What? What do you want to know, Jake? You don't ask. You don't ask a YouTuber a question off camera. <laughs> All right, There's are no we live? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I was just wondering what your experience was with the M18 fuel top handle chainsaw versus the gas chainsaw you used earlier today. Seems like you guys plugged the carb up on it, <laughs> or something, because sure. it didn't seem like honestly, it didn't seem yeah. like it was running quite right. Okay. The way it was stalling out, it should have idled a little yeah. bit smoother. This delivered consistent power performance torque all the way smoothly through the cut yeah absolutely okay so but for a top handle saw i would rather grab the milwaukee battery powered one than to be up in the top of a tree trying to yank start that thing and worry if i got enough fuel in it or what have you so exactly. that's just my two cents on it i'm for not sure. an arborist sure i'm just a old timer that har we harvest about 50 cord a year for our personal oh, really? firewood wow. so i got yeah. a tiny bit of experience with chainsaws i just don't talk a lot about it on my channel because i don't climb up into the tip tops of trees and <laughs> make it look cool like everybody else sure does. yeah <laughs> now one of the big critiques that i've heard you guys say in the comments is oh milwaukee tools is made in china and Milwaukee Tools is actually a global organization with over 17 manufacturing facilities worldwide. But get a load of this. 11 of those are in the United States. With a lot of those jobs being high-end research and development and engineering, as well as a range of manufacturing and other jobs. Our pruning shears have also incorporated our trigger tracking technology. So while you can pull the trigger and have that full cut, you're also able to uh, control the blades. So this means the blades are following the trigger movement. So when you're in those tight access applications, you can really control and optimize that cut capacity. This trigger tracking combined with the most select board I mentioned and overall inline lightweight design of these pruning shears make these a great pruning solution for any landscape maintenance professional. On top of that, they also deliver over a thousand cuts per charge on a single compact duo battery and half inch material. And, and then lastly, compared to manual solutions, these are going to reduce muscle effort by 75%. So now let's take a look at how these perform against some manual solutions that we see on the market today. So I'm going to start out with your traditional pruning shears and here I have a three quarter inch <laughs> dowel rod. So let's see how it does. All right, I'm physically not able to cut this, but during the hands-on, if anyone's feeling strong, give it a shot. Next up, I have these loppers, and these are higher-end loppers. So let's see how this does. Is that the correct technical term? It is, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you can see I was able to cut it, but it took a little bit longer, and there was also a lot of movement in my arm. So that's not only causing additional fatigue, but really hard to get in those tighter access areas. And let's see how the pruning shears do. There you go. You can see not only is it much easier, but much faster. All right.
right, you guys. Well, I kind of feel that my job is not to sell you on a tool, but to report what I see and to test their claims so that when you go to the store to make your purchase decisions, you're really comfortable with what you're getting before you spend your hard earned money. So let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are about what you've seen today, but that's all we've got for you on the new Milwaukee Outdoor Power Equipment. Now, while I was there, I also got to tour their brand new facility that they're opening up where they're manufacturing all new hand tools using some very proprietary technology. Legitimate cutting edge things that nobody else in the hand tool market has ever done. It blew my mind. And if you guys want to try, want me to try to get you a behind the scenes tour on what that's like, let me know in the comments down below, but that's all I got for you on this one. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button and I hope you enjoyed today's show. God bless you guys. Go get them and we'll catch you on another one.